Welcome to Sundogs present Local Vibes. We are Sundogs, your two favorite canines. So, excuse me. Bow wow. Bow wow. That's, that's absolutely right. Um, <laughs> We're the Brothers Hound. We're the Fly Boys. Some people call us the Good Boys, too. That's right. How are you doing? Hopefully, you're not too chilly. Follow us at Sundogs TC. The Facebook page for the radio show is Sundogs Present. Local Vibes. Local Vibes. So I'm just get, getting settled in, getting, getting situated in. a little bit. We're joined in the dog house by the incomparable Resi Noble. How yeah, you doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm perfectly fine, man. Perfectly fine. I'm thank, glad to be here. Yeah, thank you so much for coming through. More information can be found at Resi Noble. R-E-Z-Z-Y-N-O-B-L-E, correct? Yes, sir. Boom, I just want to clarify that. Your people, your representatives sent that over, and I just want to clarify with you that that's correct. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, before us, you were listening to the 94.1 FM WFNU LP Music Rotation. If you're a local artist in Minnesota, you've got uh, hip-hop or... Or no. If you're a local artist in Minnesota and... Uh, you play whatever kind of music, send it to stationmanager at gmail.com. At WFNU.org. At WFNU.org. I'll mess this up so no, bad no you guys, I'm sorry. And if you have clean hip-hop and R&B songs, send them over to the your two favorite hounds, Sundogs, at Sundogs TC. Again, radio edited, hip-hop or R&B songs, Sundogs TC at gmail.com. And we'll get that in the music rotation, so it's a win-win. Uh, after us on so Fridays we kick it off six to seven, and then after us beneath the remains every Friday at seven o'clock. Every Friday at nine p.m. Get the gravy hot with Gall Dagburn. We've got basic beats with DJ Dom Terrace every Friday at ten. And ending your Friday evening or just kicking off your Friday evening is basic beats with DJ Dom Terrace Fridays at. Or did you say that? I don't know. I think Basic Beats with DJ Dom Terrace at 10 p.m. Club 120 Plus with Sid DeLuca at 11 p.m. That's your Friday here on WFNU. It's that easy. Other great shows to check out. Midday Escape with Philip Gracia, Fridays and Saturdays at noon. The Morning Program with Dr. Rick Burnett, weekdays at 7 a.m. Extra Dimension with Ian R. Buck, Sundays and Wednesdays at 9 p.m. We're just picking up this uh, headphone audio. Pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> The 945 show, 945 every Saturday and Wednesday. T. Frazier's Motivational Talks every Thursday at 3 p.m. Hits in history of the 60s, 70s, and 80s with Dr. Rick Burnett mm-hmm. is live 8 a.m. on Mondays and the replay is every day at midnight. Funk to your ears Tuesdays and Saturdays at 7 p.m. M- 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 <laughs> Want to shout out the station managers. Thanks for everything yes. you do. Thanks for playing great music on the radio. Not kicking us off the radio. <laughs> um, got a nice place to do it in. And uh, yeah, they make everything happen somehow. Thank so, you guys thank again. You guys. Other programs here focusing on local music or here in the Twin Cities, focusing on the local music here in the Twin Cities include, but are not limited to, the Sota Sound radio show hosted by Nacho Suave and Half Pint of the B&D crew. You can look that up on, you can look up Sota Sound on Facebook that's uh, Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Do you know if that's on their YouTube? Uh, it's probably on the YouTube as well. That's yeah. B&D Music. But they've got the page on Facebook, and I think they do it on Facebook. Another one on Facebook, Chopping Up With Pops. Yes. Can't forget about that one. I think he was doing like a collab with another uh, like a co-host? podcast. Yeah, oh, or if they were teaming up and cool. kind of merging. So more information on that later. But Chopping Up With Pops. Shout out to Pops. Logan Michaels hosts the R- Mini Rapalist podcast. You can find that on YouTube. He's the millennial man, the heartbreak kid. Yep. DJ Buster Baxter show is live Fridays on Mixcloud. The Walrus the Human show, also part of the B&E Corporation, you could say. Uh, you can find that on b and Music YouTube. That's right. Uh, Say No More Podcast. Oh, Say No More Podcast, another one. Yep, yes. can't, wait, can't forget to shout out. Do you know any uh, podcasts here in the Twin Cities that are kind of highlighting uh, hip-hop and R&B? I don't, actually. All right. No, 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 no. If any listeners have any, uh, call in 651-313-5125. We don't want to forget to shout out uh, the people who are doing what we're doing. Just and trying, if- to, trying to get uh, local hip-hop and R&B out there. 
Hi- yeah. Highlighting the renaissance. <laughs> yeah, recording the renaissance. Exactly. Yeah, what's going on? If you're just tuning in, we are sitting down with Resi Noble. More information can be found at Resi Noble on all social media platforms. Uh, last week we had RZ Shahid in the studio. We got to talk to him about what's on the horizon. Next week we've got Aaron Avis in the studio. Hey Listen to both of their interviews, replays of Sundogs Present Local Vibes, and exclusive content and performances on anchor.fm slash local vibes, on YouTube, the Sundogs TC channel, and on Spotify. Just type in Sundogs Present Local Vibes, add it to your favorite podcast. Boom, and you're in there. Uh, so, Fridays. Six o'clock, everybody's favorite day and time. Sundogs present local vibes are live on air. A couple different ways you can listen live. 94.1 FM uh, on your dial. That's if one. you're here in the Frogtown community. WFNU.org slash live as the uh, station's website. You can listen live on there. Uh, WFNU or Frogtown Community Radio. You can search that in the Live 365 app. And that's just that's on your phone, uh, radio, anytime. And then YouTube, we're live, Boom. which is nice. Sundogs TC YouTube channel. Exactly. Live every Friday at 6 to 7 p.m., the Sundogs are in the studio. The right heart, next to the studio phone. 651-313-5125. Call in now. Ask Grezzy Noble a question. He'll give you uh, one of his grandma's favorite recipes. He'll give you some uh, fortune, fortune telling, fortune reading. Um, or you can ask what the real meaning of a line in one of his songs is. 651-313-5125. I think that is the Bidnack. If you don't swear, we'll put you on the air. We're almost done with the Bidnack. Um, if you have song requests and upcoming events, please, again, email that to sundogstc at gmail.com. Um, and there are a few events, kind of open mics, cool happenings oh, yes, yes. that are scheduled that you know occur frequently, including the Urban Lights open mic at Urban Lights in St. Paul, hosted by Vlad G and AKA Kobe. Every first Thursday of the month, from 5.30 p.m. to 8 p.m., I might tell you to show up around 5. Yeah, it's Good still, vibes, uh, vibes. still a, you gotta sign up to perform the sheets out at the yeah, beginning of the early. night type. Come yeah, early. No, not come early. But check out the museum that is Urban Lights. You know? Because he's got a good, co- Tim's got a good collection of memorabilia. Oh, it's memorabilia. good history. Yeah, 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 it's a good, good, good place to hang out for sure. A couple other open mics. Um, there's could. the Freight, Freight Room yeah. open mic that's in uh, Hopkins at the Depot Coffee House. Hosted by Good Boy. That's every Tuesday from 6 to 10. So every week, open mic out there in Hopkins. And every Monday, picking your week off at the Red Sea in Minneapolis, DJ Cam Jones and friends are holding down the fort. That goes uh, from about 8 p.m. every Monday to about 1 a.m. every Tuesday morning. Yeah, and he'll throw in an open mic maybe 1 in 10 shows. But usually these are performances and Normal good DJ sets. But he's a good guy to get in contact with. Shout out DJ Cam Jones. Yeah, shout out yeah. DJ Cam, man. He's working. 651-313-5125. At Resi Noble is where you're going to find all that goodness. At Sundogs TC is where you're going to find all that juice. <laughs> <laughs> but that is all the business, ladies and germs. We did it. Thank Thanks you for being, for being so exactly what I was going to say. Um, so thank you again. It's a pleasure to be sitting down with you. Um, we I know um, some of our representatives dropped the ball in some of the communication with you, so we apologize again about that. Mm-hmm. But now it's all water under the bridge. <laughs> we like to get in with guests, kind of the origin story. Uh, what influenced you early on making music and more importantly what were some of the other artist names you went by yeah any other rapper names you had (laughs) producer names or names of groups yeah let's rewind back to five years old what was being played around the house be your parents musical oh yeah i mean i mean my mom was the type to play like scarface you know like old school bro like my mama was old school all the way uh but what really got me in was like so my father's actually a local rapper himself oh yeah yeah legacy here yeah. exactly. uh, ah you know my own <laughs> but so like uh growing up and you know going over to his house a few times that i did go 
uh, he introduced me to, you know, music. You know, he had his own little setup. He had his own little things that he did. Um, not that I ever necessarily recorded with him. I think I only recorded with him one time, and it was just, like, stressful because he wanted something from me that I just couldn't give at the time. Right. You know? Yep. And I shut down for music from that. Yeah. So, you know, I was, I was like, I was a kid, man. I was Oof. like probably nine, eight, nine. Oh, Ooh. man. Yeah, so I was like, ah, right, yeah, this ain't for me. I don't, I'm not who you want me to be. You know, I can't be who you want me to be, so this is that. Um, but to, like, continue and all, you know, I'm in school. I'm in high school, man, you know, and I'm, like, in lunch, you know. And I, I was, like, you know, I was in special ed growing up. So, you know, I'm getting escorted to rooms because I can't, you know, sit down. Yeah. <laughs> so as I'm doing that, uh, I'm, like, sitting down at one of the lunch tables, you know, and they, like, doing the little beat things. And I guess one of the teachers told one of the kids to, like, come up and, you know, like, rock with me for a little bit. Nice. You know, he was like, this this kid just be sitting by himself all melancholy, like, like yeah. let's get him, let's so angry, let's get, let's get him happy, let's do something. And so, they, you know, they came up, they did, you know, a little thing. They were like, we heard you be spitting. We heard you be writing down, writing poems, because I did always write. Nice. So I guess I had spit something that had the whole lunchroom, you know, in Brooklyn Junior High, just had, like, the whole lunchroom just, this kid can get it. This kid can spit. <laughs> oh, this wow. man is that. And wow. I was like, ah, I, you know, that that was my spark. Nice. To bring it back into it? That's so yeah, cool. So, you know, yeah, whatever, whoever that kid was, whoever that teacher was. Yeah, like, shout out to the Asian kid, dog. Shout out to the Asian it kid. It <laughs> really, really worked. It really worked. So, yeah. That's awesome. And that man. was uh, maybe junior high, you said? Yeah, so that was like eighth grade. So, you yeah, know, that was like, that was that was years. Very formative years, but years after the pressure oh, yeah. of the studio incident. Nice. Yeah, you know. Uh, and then I didn't even get back into the studio until I was like... What, I mean, until, like, a year or two ago? Oh. So after high school. Yeah, man. Okay. Like, <laughs> wow. But close, have, close. have you still been writing, though, throughout the yeah, time? Yeah, of course. And mm. spitting, I'm sure. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, I was known for open mics. Exactly. Like, you know, you heard me from open mics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and what, so when was the first time you, other than the lunchroom, that you were on stage? Was it a talent show at the high school? Was it... Fifth Element open mic. Nah, so uh, A after that experience in the lunchroom in middle school, yeah, yeah. How, how did it evolve? So, <laughs> oh yeah, and did you give yourself a rapper name after your uh, freestyling success? Yeah, man. What was it? What it was, was the first one? <laughs> yeah, we gotta know. It was Kid Flame, man. Kid, Kid Flame. Kid Flame. <laughs> We're sitting down with Kid Flame, <laughs> a rapper formerly known as Kid Flame. <laughs> And so, it's like this, them, them, them older times, the Renaissance, as you say. Yes. <laughs> That's so cool. And so, oh. Kid Flame until when? Yeah. And did you do perform like yeah at a talent show or, or drop on, any tracks nah, as, Kid honest, Flame? as Kid Flame? Nah, like I nah. So I, I've never like I've never went as a rapper name for Kid Flame. Yep, yep. That was just like something that I gave myself. I'm yeah. Like all right, you know. I'm Kid Flame, obviously. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if this if if, if I'm gonna go big, this is who I'm gonna be. You uh -huh. know. Uh, awesome. but it wasn't until like again you know in you know future time I linked back up with my father you know what I'm saying he was like doing music and uh, so he took us he took me to an open mic he left me and him got into it yeah. oh my you know so he ended up leaving uh, which know. open mic here in the cities or elsewhere nah he I, I can't even tell you which one this was like three years ago okay, okay. yeah so it's like he took me to the open mic, you know, and got you, into it. We and left. didn't uh, even get to see you perform? No, nah, because it was funny because I actually did perform. And, like, I got props. Like, people okay. were like, yo, you're different, you know. Like, we don't know nobody who sounds like you. Yeah. I, 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 you know. And I was just like, ah. It's kind of like from that moment, I was like, maybe I just need to, like, you know, go on my own. Right. But then again, of course, they don't have it, you know, in a parent's relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, you know, future know time. Each other, yeah. You know, fast forward a year, I'm in the studio with this man. Yeah. You know, so then he finally hears me spit, and he's yeah. like, he's he's hyped. You know what nice. I'm saying? We get something down, we get it recorded. People, you know what I'm saying? My family members telling me they listening to it. Yeah. Because he's cool. Yeah. And we got into it, and that was that. 
Yeah, I have, I've not talked to bro since then. Man. No, man. no worries. That's, but, uh, yeah, got you recorded. Was that your yeah. first recorded track? Yeah, I mean, it was my first recorded track is Litcon. Very cool. So okay. So, Litcon was my rapper name that I actually was, like, performing as. Okay, so uh, went from Kid Flame to Litcon. To Litcon. Litcon, so, yeah, excuse so me. Like, oh, yeah, L-Y-D-C-O-N. Uh, yeah. Yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah. That's dope. As heck, excuse me. Oh my gosh. We're on Sundogs Present Local Vibes. Yeah. Just ask him to get kicked off. I, I, I apologize. All right, no big deal. Um, so, we're talking about the first recorded track. Got mm -hmm. the track recorded. Uh, As you, Lidcon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what year was this then? Was that just like 2018, 2019? I, I think this was like, I want to say. 2019 because it was like right before my son was born it was cold outside <laughs> it, was cold. Oh, it was cold outside nice man so you've probably been crazy busy with a, having a kid and everything like that uh are you still what's uh what's like the pace of your of the music career what's the uh what are, where are you so you had a kid in 2019 no i had a kid in 2020 Oh, 2020 yeah, no like my baby was on the way at the time so. oh man yep so uh Recorded the first track. Uh, what have you been uh, as Lidcon? But now, of course, you're Resi Noble. So what? How did what? What changed? <laughs> Was it a new like philosophy? Or were you like, no. oh, I'm gonna be releasing this style of music, so I need a new. No, alias. I just noticed like nobody was paying attention to like Lidcon. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? The people were getting it messed up, and wasn't nobody saying it right, spelling it right. Mm -hmm. So it was actually me. Bad. It was actually me and AKA Kobe. <laughs> so me and the homie Kobe on the phone with Cam, we like on a three-way with Cam Indigo, shout out. Yes. Uh, so it's like me and AKA Kobe on a three-way car with Cam Indigo. And, you know, just BSing, you know, just, and it's going around like, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we're going to have to pick up after that on the, after the break. We're so. going to take a break here in about 20 seconds. If you're just joining us, we are going through the timeline. We're going through the... <laughs> Right now, the about to be going through the rebrand uh, to Resi Noble with Resi Noble. Follow him at Resi Noble here on Sundogs TC. We're gonna be back get it, get in it. two and two. We'll see you then. Two minutes, y'all. Oh, welcome back to Sundogs present local vibes. Oh, excuse me. We are sitting down with. Resi Noble, and we were just talking about the the transition from Lidcon to Resi Noble, and you said people just weren't latching on to Lidcon, people were spelling it wrong, and you thought uh, it was time for a rebrand or just a time for a, a switch up of styles or both. Yeah, we're left off. You were on the phone with Cam Indigo and AKA Kobe. So yeah, let's hop, yeah. hop right back up there. What do we? What 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 went down on the call? So like, you know, we was, you know, like I said, you know, we just, you know, these are like my personal friends, you know, we're just, you know, my homies talk, like just chopping it up. And Kobe was like, we need to get you a night, bro. He was like, we need to get you. <laughs> he was just like, lit kind of, that it ain't it. It don't seem like you. And um, growing up, one of my best friends, uh, his name's Jordan, one of my best friends, he's like an artist, you know. And he's like making this uh, his own like little manga or whatever because we're into anime. So, you know, he's making his own little manga. He put me as a character, you know, kind of based the character off me and the character's name was Rezzy. So, you know, I kind of like was like, ah, I'm like, that's what, you know what I'm saying? It's an important thing, important factor, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I also smoke reefer. Yeah, when I don't have reefer, I seem to, you know, <laughs> Kelly, dip into the resin. <laughs> um, does the character share any physical attributes with you? Hey, yeah, he's a scruffy guy, man. Yeah. I, don't, I don't necessarily always look this good, right. man. I'm, ha I'm just scraggly. Have, have you ever considered a partnership with that uh, friend or artist to make a more accurate rapper anime style? See, that, that'd be you? dope. That's not something that I actually thought about. You know, that's a, I'll, I'll probably bring it up to him. Most definitely. Nice, yeah. At least an album cover or something. Yeah, exactly. You know, you know I, oh, bro, he's, he's fantastic. He's a fantastic artist. I most definitely would be down for that. That's awesome. Um, and that was just, so, yeah. Rezzy. Yeah, yeah. Rezzy, Rezzy came that's from the, the manga. Yeah, you know, because, like, Rezzy Noble, as, like, we were talking about it, you know, 
And as we were discussing who we were, Kobe was on like this name generator. Oh, <laughs> yeah. nice. Not the Wu Tang one. Oh, bro, I don't know which one he was on. Because I <laughs> asked him, I'm like, where'd you get this from? He's like, I'm on a name generator right now. We're getting, <laughs> we're getting <laughs> you smoked Pumped together, up, man. Yeah. Like, That's a pretty good Kobe impression. <laughs> he was like, we're getting you smoked together. And I was like, all right, and we were going through the names. And he was like, nah, bro. He was like, Reggie Noble. And we all three was like, hold on, that's cold. And then at first it was a joke. At first it was a joke. But as I like kept saying it, and as I kept thinking about it, and like the double meanings that the name itself could have, you know, like my son being born, so I am trying to like, you know, turn certain aspects of my life around, you know, to be a better role model. So it was like the noble fit. And you know, Rezzy kind of just being mean and dirty or dingy. Uh oh, so. it's a rap attack. Oh. I don't know if you can hear the beat in your headphones. Let me know if you can. It's fading in. I turn it, you said rap attack. Rap okay. attack. Oh, that's a rap hey. attack. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Try not to swear. I think, try not to swear? Hey. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Wow. You wouldn't have saved me up now. Whoa. Hold on. I'm going to get you. This is what y'all doing, huh? Rap attack? Hey, rap attack. Uh, surprise okay. beat. Surprise hey. everything. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hey. Got hit with anxiety. Yeah. Well, never gonna find me, nah You could just play me, you could just play me Mine gonna go crazy, yeah mm. I could sit down and I could go frown But I'm gonna smile at the end of the day And if I'm gonna play, then you gonna get swayed And I'm gonna go sway, uh mm. I can go never go lay up a chick I can go never, I can lay down a brick I can go lit and I can go fast And I can go bash and I can go mash uh, I can gain never go, mm. I can gain never go I just can't never go, Hey, hey. Hey, yesterday on Thanksgiving, by myself and solo, my kid done left with his mama. Hey, multiple females and down at me, they try to take me to Donna's. I don't wanna go and I don't wanna hold your hand. I ain't no fake boyfriend. I'ma keep going, I'ma keep my things up, I'ma keep my base up, I'ma keep my base up. Ain't no phases that I'm going through, ain't no places that I'm going to, and I ain't scared, I got no fear, I'ma keep it going, we know what I'm gonna do. Hey, rap attack and anxiety done hit. Facts to facts, they ain't know it quit. Rats <laughs> it's like Yeah. He caught me. <laughs> Call me right off guard. Nice. Yo, thank you so much. That was uh, that was cold. That was a real treat. You know? That's that's exactly what we're looking for. Like we want to surprise, surprise you. <laughs> Not have you be thinking about what you're gonna rap about. It's like, oh, it's you know, whatever, six forty five, I know it's coming up. It's like no. Sup surprise you with the timing of it as well as a beat you've never heard before you know uh, yeah, that's great job if you're just joining us resi nobles dropping bars here on you know, just a few, you know, vibes. mumbled and whatnot but they just a few it's <laughs> fun it's fun to do it's fun to uh flex a muscle always fun to find uh flows that way too yeah and i think the mark of a good performer is to be able to improvise something do something extemporaneously Immediately. Like, if you're a performer, we've got an empty stage in 15 minutes, get on stage oh, right yeah, now. Man. Oh. You know what I mean? It's like the open mics, man. If, like, somebody don't show up, or we got to slot open first mm -hmm. come, first yeah, yeah, be ready, you know? So. I forget who I saw do that at the Shut Up and Rap uh, competitions. Just Whoa. came out of came out of the crowd, was ready with a beat. Uh, cool. cool. I, I mean, mean, you have to be, you man. Be ready especially, to I mean, especially if you got Shut Up and Rap. You gotta shut up and rap. You have to be ready, man. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So Cause that, that was a fun competition. Somebody somebody should do something. Somebody should uh, put one of those together. You just gotta have the judges lined up. That was a cool aspect of it. Yeah, Maybe but, having the same judge throughout the whole competition, like a season type shit. Yeah, type stuff. Um, yeah, we should talk to our producers about that. Um, down, give us down. a call, 651-313-5125. So you chose the name. Yeah. And that was, I would assume, pre-COVID. 2018, you were saying, right? Nah, so I did, like I said, I didn't the, change the name until like the phone call with me and Kobe. Yep, yep, yep. When was that phone call? And that phone call was like, I want to say when my son was born. So like, oh, my okay. son was here. Just last year. Yeah, so you know. Crazy. Okay, so then... Uh, the album art for the two tracks that you sent us, which you can't play because there's swearing on there. Um, the album art for both of those is the same. So is it off the same project? Uh, both those the tracks. red and white and black color. No, nah, so um, yeah, that that uh, cover art I actually showed you. Um, yeah. 
So that cover art is actually from my new project. Ooh. Yeah. Like how new? Like like fresh. Like unreleased. Like Hasn't now, dropped yet. I have not. I have a plan to drop it. Oh. No, I'm not messing with y'all. This the project. Uh, the project name is the Yokai Shift. Yeah. So very like. What does the I don't. Uh, so I'm very into anime and yeah. I, I love Japanese culture. You know, it's like something that I'm like very like intrigued into. Mm -hmm. So yokai actually means like demon ghost. You know oh. what I'm saying? You know, apparition of some sort. Whoa. So you know, the yokai Whoa. shift, the night shift, there the dead go. shift. You know, whatever meaning you want to take from the yokai shift. But nice. Is this project a little darker then? Yeah. Uh, a little more, you know. Uh, this project just kind of like you know. You know, I made some like I made some I made some real negative choices. So like I lost my family, you know, in the process of it, you know. Separation effect. So uh it kind of just like peaks light about, you know, what led up to, you know what I'm saying? Like and exploring what kind of Yeah, like what what led up to me burning the foundation that, you know, me and this significant other had built up to. You know? mm -hmm. Fascinating. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Good, good look into the human uh, condition. Obviously, good <laughs> stuff to make songs about. Uh, Would you say therapeutic to look back on it as a project now to where you are? You know. No. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I mean, most definitely. You know, because you look back on yourself and you go like, all right, these things. You know, you kind of like it's it's a way of me accepting responsibility. You mm -hmm. know, it's kind of like as it, as it is. You know. It's, right. Not lying, not lying on the track. Can't lie to yourself. So. I, nah, you know that's that's the, and that like that's the whole point. Like, and that's the exact thing. Like, you know, I make music for myself. You know, I make music that I love to listen to. You know, so I feel like if I'm making music that I'm like lying to myself about, it just it don't sit right. Really, I'm not gonna listen to this song. Or it'll be lying. yeah, it'll be a constant <laughs> reminder. You talking to yourself. It's you just know? like oh, I was just spitting a bunch of BS, or I was <laughs> lying to myself and everyone around me. Yeah. And it's captured forever on this track, yeah. or a feature, capturing that on a feature where it's like mm. this is on another person. I can't even take it down now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But yeah, you know. I think that's a huge aspect of hip hop that a lot of people tend to overlook is it's an exploration of the the writers, the MCs life and emotion, you yeah. know. No matter how it's presented, whether it's trappy or mumbly or yeah, I mean, how singy it really is, it's, it's a representation of like who you are or how you deal with things or what you've been through and you know what I'm saying. It's all deep. That's you know. I, I never knock no music. You know. Exactly. You, you can know. always appreciate it one yeah, way or another. Because in, in a way, they they're expressing themselves. It's it's an explanation of a feeling that multiple people can go through. It's like music hits so hard. You know. That's why music's so therapeutic. Yeah, it's crazy. And how many tracks is it's the Yokai Shift? Yeah. So the Yokai Shift is uh. So it's got six tracks on it. Okay, locally produced or just beats that you get uh, on the internet? No, so no, it, it'll be locally produced. Um, majority of them are by Minnesota Code. Oh, oh shout out Minnesota Code. Yep. So we give us a call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, majority produced by Minnesota Code. That's awesome. And I'm sorry, I may have been confused by what you said. You said it is released, newly released, or not yet released? No, it's it's gonna be released. Like to be released. Yeah. Oh baby. Um, so this, that's this is the rollout. This is we're rolling rolling it right any, now. Any yeah, any music video or like animated visuals on the horizon for Ooh. that? Um, so I'm like in thoughts of a video. Uh, so shout out to AKA Kobe. You know, go to him. He he does fantastic videos. He did both of mine. Uh, oh wow, both so, of them. Yeah, I know he did the one. Mm hmm. No, he did both of them. He did Bad Habits and then he did uh, uh, Bitter Beast. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, cool to see people wear multiple hats. You oh, know, oh. Especially as the music video directors. I, mean, I know I Scott the MacGyver yeah, directs a lot of music thing, videos, too. That man's a jack of all trades. Oh, man. my gosh. <laughs> um, so, yeah, at which track off of the upcoming project? If you can reveal where you guys brainstorming a music video for. Um, so, the track name is, uh, it's, it's called Delayed Death. And it's just more so, you know what I'm saying? It's going to speak on, like, how, you know, a certain aspect of my personality somebody fell in love with, and I let that I let that straight go. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with you know my own demons, you know, 
So it's uh it's really like this this video is gonna be like real deep. Yeah. You know, it's gonna have like real specific moments and point in time that like multiple people will be able to fill on, you know? Cause I'm like, I'm just a man who accepts responsibility, you know, do you know. Maybe use a little black and white. <laughs> Ooh, make it even even more serious. Yeah, the uh, yeah. it's so cool using being able to use a music music video to give different meanings or even expand on the meaning of the lyrics and the song. Yeah, you know, you you got the song. So yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Expand on the video. Expand yeah, on the track. Exactly. Expand, yeah. Don't have to be doing what the lyrics are saying in the. No. Yeah, exactly. Not at all. That'll be cool. I can't. I can't wait. Can't wait to hear the whole project. It's now that I've got a little more context to it. <laughs> yeah, we've just gotten those, the taste of those two tracks that yeah. you that you rep sent over. So yeah. thank you again, just yeah. for our listening pleasure. I'm sorry, viewers. Yep. Sorry to you guys. You snooze, <laughs> you lose. Me. Well, uh, yeah. Hopefully, Sean will be able to chop chop the swears right out of there. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll, the we'll get them in the rotation. for That'd sure. That'd be dope. Yeah, get them exactly. in the rotation on the radio. That'd yes. be dope. Make sure to follow Rezzy Noble at Rezzy Noble. That's R E Z Z Y N O B L E. That's where you find all the good stuff. Instagram, mm -hmm. YouTube, Instagram, YouTube, yep. Spotify, Spotify, Apple Music, everything. All, all the platforms. Just Google Rezzy Noble. Yeah, we there. <laughs> Give us a call here on the studio line, 651-313-5125. Again, 651-313-5125. So you and yourself, I would say, are a jack of all trades. I mean, you're a father, you're a musician, you're a worker. Mm -hmm. Any other thoughts on doing another putting another creative hat on have you ever produced an, your own track or have you ever wanted to write or direct a music video or get behind the camera so i actually am like i'm technically an event coordinator okay. yeah uh so at a time when me and my significant other and my child's mother were together she helped me fund these two events on top of my other one funds. in uh what was it like june 10th yeah so the i had line up for that one this last summer was crazy oh uh, yeah i had two 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 of my events man so like the first one unfortunately didn't really plan out you know things happened we had to shut it down but it was it was very successful i sold out all my tickets this is my first show that i made myself I did everything. Uh, my child's mother like laminated all my like, you know, posters and whatnot. Whoa! So, you know, shout out to her. Um, so, yeah, like I did everything like yeah. by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I went and got tickets. You know what I'm saying? So had these tickets made. You know, pay for the venue out of my own funds. Yeah, yeah where know. was that at? I was, this was at the Underground Music Cafe gotcha, downtown gotcha, Minneapolis. Gotcha. Yep. Um, it was like it was successful for as long as it went on. You know, the bar was like very happy. The owner was like, "Man, even though the BS happened, it was still top tier." And I was like, "Ah!" So they like let me come in on the second run. Yeah, that one didn't really do as well because they double booked me. So unfortunately, yeah, it's, that's why I backed off. You ain't seen me do no shows yeah, yet, exactly. man. I'm trying to figure out like where we can go with it now because like kind of found a yeah, solid a solid uh venue owner yeah, to work with you know, if not get the little residency because you feel me yeah the the spotty management Matt. it's just like oh i saw how well this this exceeded my expectations so now i'm going to change the terms you know yeah. And if you don't meet these new terms on the second show... I'm just like, you ain't never seen no show get double booked in the same location. I just, you've never seen it. So it's right. like, I was like, ah, I'm going to back off. I'm going to step off. <laughs> so, um, and you said since then you haven't really nah, coordinated any major events. No, nah, I've, I've well, had people come on. I've, I've got this one that uh, supposedly is happening tonight. You know, I helped fund that one. Nice. Where at? Um, so this one's actually all the way out in Egan. And it's like, it's a whole nother one. But it's just an event. You know what Ooh. I'm saying? What's the lineup like? Yeah, uh, yeah. There's not no lineup, man. Oh. No, no. Uh, like it, I said, my other side thing yeah, is like is an like event a, coordinator. So yeah, it's just like, it's like okay. a wedding or an art show? Or? Nah, it's more so just like a little rock thing. It's a couple people who cool. got their guitars together and were like, hey, 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 hey you trying to you trying to help us do this little lineup thing? Your shows went, your show, you know, just based off the strength of how my first show went and how successful it was. That's at awesome. The time it was. So. Are you, are you uh, passionate about that, throwing shows? Is that something that you really enjoy doing i know even with the mixed success you i like probably it when at people least got a taste of it. i like it when people are happy to be guests at their own party you see what yeah. i'm saying so like yeah yeah I, I think i think i could find like a passion in that 
if like music doesn't work out. Got a like, good ear for who would be good or an eye for who would be good on stage. I'm just like, this smile is charismatic, man. Like people love me. I love to network and it just works out well. If you so, would like to network as well, make sure to follow Rezzy Noble at R-E-Z-Z-Y-N-O-B-L-E. That's Rezzy Noble. Follow us at Sundogs, T-C-S-U-N-D-O-G-S, T-C. We're going to take a break here in about 10 seconds. We're going to be right back with Rezzy Noble. Give us a call, 651-313-5125. Sundogs present Oko Vibes. Here. Welcome back, back to no break this time. Welcome back to Sundogs present Local Vibes. If you're tuning in live, wasn't that the shortest break you've ever seen? Exactly. <laughs> and if you're listening, thanks for sticking around through the ads. <laughs> uh, we're sitting down with Resi Noble. He's telling us all about himself. Uh, the event coordinating, the upcoming project, the family. Yeah, exactly. So be keeping your eyes peeled for the Resi Noble uh, project. Um, I forgot the word again. The sh- Something shift. The yokai shift. Yokai. The mm-hmm. Y O K A I. Mm hmm. Yep. Which you said is kind of like a specter. Spirit or a shift. Spirit. Demon Spirit. shift. Yep. 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 I'm already exactly. in the vibe yeah, of the project, I man. <laughs> I can't wait to hear hear the whole thing. And the songs you were talking about already sound pretty cool. Yeah, hey, um, man. I'm. I'm, I'm I knew Judgy was a little bit pushy, man. I knew Judgy, but I thought Synthetic would have made it. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So. It's, uh, the, it's very subtle cusses, as uh, listeners, uh, uh, why we're unable to play them for you. Um, but they'll be released for your listening pleasure very soon. You thinking before the new year, or what's... Well, I got Judgy out right now on YouTube, oh, so they can okay. go check that out. Just because, you know, I, I had to drop a little something, so they can go check out Judgy. And there's a little special track that I did with Coda. Shout out Coda. It's my little cousin. So, hey, he's another little upcoming artist, so I'm going to help him, you know what I'm saying, get up there. But I don't need to help this one. He's got his own little following, got his own little Oh, thing. man. Uh, yeah, so. Cool. Uh, Twin Cities as well? Oh, uh, yeah, most nice. definitely. Born and raised. Um, yeah, you can, and that's just Resi Noble on YouTube. Yep, Resi Noble on YouTube. Boom, boom. Easy peasy. Very, very, very easy. Um, you spoke, uh, earlier, very briefly on, you know, trying to get your poop in a group, if you will, as your child gets older and Mm -hmm. will start to, you know, take more direct influence from you. How do you see that changing your artistry at all? Or how do you feel about your... 13 year old child listening to a song that, that came out the year that you've born, made. Yeah. What, what, are, what do you think your stance will be in 10 years um, encouraging him or trying to hide old music? Do you, do you want to be open with them? Uh, or do you think it'll be kind of a. So, like, don't, you don't know make what I'm saying? Mistakes. Uh, Yeah, and I don't want to. I don't nah, to try and predict predict nah, nah, the it's future. Just, it's, a, it's a deep question, and it should be a question that somebody puts thought into. It shouldn't be a question somebody should be easily like, "Oh, this is bow right off the bat." It's number one. I can't speak up on future terms. You know, you know, I have dealings with me and his. You know, his mother because you know she pushes me to do better, pushes me to be like in his life full time, one hundred percent. Besides, like our, you know, quarrels and what we go through. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I have, like, quarrels within myself. Like, hmm, I should be distancing. You know, I should distance myself, you know, with the things that I do, the things that I decide, how I decide to do things, you know. Sometimes I feel like it's better I'm not around or, you know. Sometimes those feelings overpower my need to be a father because my need to be a father is within those feelings. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. most people be like, ah, I can't never leave my son. But I'm like, if I'm a negative and I'm, you know, you don't... You don't raise a flower in fire, you know what I'm saying? You raise a flower in a garden, stable, you know? So if there's chaos, yeah. no. Nah, exactly. Know, that's, like my, that's my yeah, mindset. There's more, more. I was raised in chaos, you know, within a garden. So it's like I, there's no if, there's no gray area. There's no, it's black and white in this. That's, yeah. that's exactly how you see it. There's either you, you're going to be good, you're going to be positive, you're going to be there, you're going to be who you need to be. Um, or you, you're gonna need to go, go through your stuff, and, you know, go through life, and then figure it out for the future. So as for right now, I'm a full-time father. You know, you know, anytime he needs help, 
I'm there anytime. His mother needs help, I'm there as much as I can be. Yeah, what, what, what are some down, of the, the biggest lessons you've learned so far? Oh, be patient. Be patient. Um, and most definitely have communication with your, within yourself. Like, be true to yourself. And then, like, be true to, you know, be true to your other, man. Like, when it comes to co-parenting, when it comes to be, like, a parent itself with somebody else, it's, like, it's very difficult. It's very hard. It's it's not easy. It's not something that, like, it can be easy, but there's, there's steps that get there. You know, things have to happen. Things have to go through the muck, through mud for it to be that point, you know. But for him being like 13 years old and listening to my music, I feel like at that time, me and him had a conversation and be like, you're not your father. Right. You may be your father's son, but you're not your father. So, you know, like, I'll probably by that time teach him to read in between some lines, you know, and then like, this is music, you know, so I'm trying to be hype with it. So certain things that I do say, you know, nothing that I say is exaggerated in music. That's actually the funny part. Like, nothing that I say is exaggerated at all. So, like, I, when I tell him reading between the lines, when I have to tell him, like, hey, man, just take it take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Hard to even uh, imagine what the world's going to be like in 10, 10 years. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Distracted as heck. Yeah, it sounds like no matter... Uh what approach you're taking uh, with your kid, that it's from, from a direction of love, whether it's uh, what you're doing or what you're saving him from, uh, you know, mm -hmm. either way. It's, so. it's always love, man. You know, you can't help but not to love your kid. Okay. Yeah. Sort of come down to And then what are your thoughts on, hey, Dad, I want to do a track with you? Oh, uh, after, you especially know? after your experience. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Would you want uh, him to develop his craft or wait till you're like 25 and then we'll get in the studio? I'd at least wait, you know what I'm saying? Because like, I'm sure he he'll, he would feel pressure as you felt pressure. Yeah, because that was like my main thing. People were like, your daddy does this, your daddy does this. So it's like, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to be my father. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I do music because this is what I love to do. It's like, you know, I, I developed a love for it myself. But for me to have him grow up and I'm like, it's in your blood. I'm going yeah. like, <laughs> to nah, be like, I'm going to be like, do do what you love to do. You know what I'm saying? Like his mother is a fantastic artist. She did all of my cover art. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Shout You're out my mind. Uh, yeah. So, you know, a shout out to Elena Foster. She does, you know, she go find her on Facebook, Elena Foster, Instagram, Elena Foster. You go ahead, you find out that she's like got this fantastic cover art skill like all of my cover art was made by her has she done any other local artists whether it be hip-hop or not uh she's done paintings i know she's cool. done paintings i know she's done other things i know she's like tried but you know you know people yeah. i don't know people try some things you know exactly yeah being creative is uh interesting in a capitalistic society <laughs> <laughs> it's like you can be making stuff that's fulfilling you and you know Fulfilling the people you love, and at the same time, it's, it's a struggle. Oh, so, man. sorry to switch gears a little bit. So, are you going to Urban Lights every month? Nah, so, like, um... Or like, is there a, an open mic you've been doing, or haven't you been on stage for a while? No, nah, I, ain't, I ain't really been on stage in a while. People have, like, invited me, people have put me on lineups, and then, like, I, I've just not been able to get to get going, man. Like, like I said, these last few months have, like have been chaos on earth so you know for me i'm just i'm literally like i said i've not looked this good in a while man it's so, like i most definitely been sitting here like getting it together so i'm i'm probably mo i ain't even gonna lie to you i'm going to that next urban lights very cool now, I'm, I'm known i'm an og over there i've been there since they had first started but life hits you and you can't always make it right to exactly. support people you have to you got to support yourself first and mm -hmm. that was like my main thing you know um, shout the, out to AKA Kobe and Vlad G. Yes. They, do, they do these fantastic urban lights. And, and then they do those subsequent shows. They get other are, shows oh going on. Get God. into them. Follow them on Instagram. Follow AKA Kobe on YouTube. He's a fantastic artist. Mm -hmm. Somebody I look up to as an artist, man. He's, he's got this flow. You can yeah. check out AK, both of AKA Kobe's interviews uh, on right. Spotify, Sundogs Present Local Vibes, as well as YouTube. I think one of them for sure is on there. Yeah. And then Sundox TC on YouTube, and then anchor.fm slash local vibes. Follow Resi Noble at Resi Noble, R E Z Z Y N O B L E. 
follow the gruesome twosome, excuse me, follow the sun, follow sun dogs at sundogs, T C S U N D O G X. Oh, the uh, radio show's got a Facebook page too, if you want to uh, mm-hmm. check that out. Sundogs present local vibes uh, on Facebook. And now's your last chance to give us a call here on the studio line, 651 313 5125. Again, 651 313 5125. You're killing me. That day was killing me. To ask a question, to get some advice to uh, perhaps learn from the three of our mistakes to avoid your future pitfalls. 651-313-5125. So no upcoming shows other than perhaps Urban Lights, getting back into the swing of things, correct? Yeah. So I'm just not getting back into the swing of things. Uh, Well, keep us posted, because we'll... uh, We'll shout it out on the show, at least, if not try to be there. Oh, man. You know, Herbalize, they, they do it, uh, what is it, yeah, the first Thursday of every month? Yeah. Am I right? Yep, yep. So the first Thursday of every month. That's coming up in like a week then, because yeah, yeah, it's, exactly. it's the first week in December. We should, I don't, can't, I don't know my dates good enough off the top of my head, but it's it's coming up. <laughs> yeah, and listeners, if you haven't checked that out, again, that's the Urban Lights open mic at Urban Lights in St. Paul every first Thursday of the month from 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m.? Yep. So. But again, maybe show up around four thirty or five. Yeah, now there's there's a line, man. There's a line. It's, you know, it's, you're not gonna be the only one trying to show out that day. No, exactly. I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna show out. Yes. But I, I hear it's a good, uh, pretty good welcoming atmosphere. Everyone is patient and respectful. Yeah, man. I mean, that that's one thing that we thrive on. It's like, especially in our like our little tiny community, man. Expect you know Minnesota growing as it is. It's like. We don't want no hating over here, man. It's all love. Everybody trying to win. Everybody trying to get it. Everybody can win. There's everybody can everybody. get it. There's yeah. legit enough for everybody. Yeah. But everybody want to be top dog. Everybody want to be top. Like, it's okay to want to be top tier, you know. But you can't just be out here trying to be king, king, you know. It's one thing that I just I hate with a passion. Is the, uh, the weird ego mixed with I can do everything myself. Slash, <laughs> yeah, if I'm a real, insert the word, I can't ask for help type thing, that's uh, it's bogus. It, it is, and I can understand your frustration as well, because we, we find frustration, um, you know, collaborating with artists, running into that a lot. Yeah. Or it's, it seems to Most be a, a vi- the biggest obstacle I find with collaborating with other artists is the ego. Mm. It's like... Uh, Right, like just cutting off communications if you can't meet a deadline type of thing or whatever it may be. Yeah, what's your typical turnaround for a verse? Or it depends on the song, depends on what's going on in your life. Do you have like, oh, three weeks and I'll get it to you? Or is it... Nah, man, like people hate doing music with me. I I get you a 16 and 16. 16 months? I'll get you a 16 and 16 16 minutes. minutes? Okay, yeah, I'll take that. There you go. Not 16 years. Excuse me, not 16 years. 16 minutes. Yeah, that's I can good. literally get you a 16. The majority of my songs are 16 16s. That's like, pretty good. Me being in the studio with Minnesota Code and just like, all right, this track ain't working out. But I'm feeling a vibe, so here we go. And I'll nice. literally just hop on the mic and spit into the mic, and there you go. Nice. And at, at least to have like a, a reference track to listen to and maybe perfect if you want to tweak a word or two, but otherwise it sounds like it's pretty solid. Nah, like, I don't know. Maybe I should get like a little system, but like my system consists of chaos. Yeah. Nice. Like, I need it to be everywhere. No, you know? Yeah. If I'm like, yeah, you, you go through life and you're feeling emotions everywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I may come in and I may be off the drink and I'm like, ah, you know, she ain't love me. <laughs> yeah. uh, Let's I, capture that. I, I'm coming yeah. off the blunt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, all right. You know what? We vibing today. I don't care about the thing. You know. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, so. we were talking to uh, who was it? Young Fluid. I believe so. Somebody was saying uh, that they like to uh, go in, record that day, type of thing. Just kind of like capture that snapshot yeah. of life. And it, do you, yeah, it feels similar uh, benefits from doing it that way. I am most like, definitely that person. Like, I'll feel it. I'm, I need to get into the studio now. Yeah. 
And then people would be like, hey, man, you got to set an appointment, book this, book It's that. like, yeah, four hours from now, I'm not going to want to do it. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I have ADHD, bro. Like, four hours from now, I'm going to be in a whole different vibe or I'm playing my game. I'm playing with my son or something. The, but vo- it ain't music. <laughs> the voice memo is on the phone. So that's been a revolution for my creativity is being able to capture the, grab that creative uh, slice hey, man. as it comes out. Even yeah. if the five people aren't able to get together immediately in you 15 know. seconds. Yeah, exactly. Not everybody's <laughs> producer is Sean Jarman in the, in the uh, studio. Shout out, Sean Jarman. Shout, shout out, he's shout out fantastic. Shout out. Um, yeah, man. Um, so, unfortunately, we can't get those tracks going, but I heard that you uh, heard that you guys got some beats for your boy. Oh, uh, that the rap tech is what we were talking about. Um, okay. I mean, we could do another one over the uh, like the house beat, if you will. Yeah, exactly. We could freestyle out the last like whatever three minutes we got if we want. Yeah, it would just be this one. I could rock with any beat. Yeah, all right, let's do it. I could rock with any beat. Just the house beat. This all is right. just the house beat. Okay, I can go with it. I'm gonna turn my headphone on. Oh, this is gonna be like a uh, you know Benny the Butcher vibes, man. Okay. The beat, you know, nice. Yeah, yeah we man. made this beat. Okay, I got some skill. Uh, well, I ain't here for the vibe check. I ain't come from niceties. I ain't come from nice. I ain't come from pipe for beats. Uh, whoa. Hold on. I like this little beat. Uh, feeling real anxious. My anxiety peaking. I can't stop no van. My boat bent and sinking. I can't drive the van. I can't keep my man up. I've been so manic. I've been on my damages. Or what? I've been self destructive. And my behavior hip been so old. I can't even rock with it. I ain't even gonna lie. I tried. No, no worries. No worries. I tried. We, no, we appreciate you pushing yourself two times. We, uh, he said two times. We, we know if you don't vibe with it, you can't vibe with it. Hey, man. That's why I like it happens, the. It don't throw, 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 I mean, I, li- I like to, uh, you know, lay down some bars occasionally, but then it's just like, oh, you might want to Nate dog it. <laughs> Nate and dog it. Sing over the. I'm just going to take a four bar. We can't sing rap, it, man. We can't sing rap. <laughs> can't sing rap like that, man. Um, any recent albums that you've been listening Listen to? to? Yeah. Whether it be uh, local or international. All uh, right. So, locally, I've been listening to that, uh, AKA Kobe John, mm. The Wax Spot. Yeah. <laughs> it's fire. Nice. Wax Spot is fire. Yeah, he was saying he was switching up his style. I I do believe he got it on Spotify and other platforms. I don't. Don't hold me to that. But I do know that he's got it on YouTube. Yeah, Um, he was. And when he was in here, he was talking about it. He was talking about a little bit like less. uh, Because everything before that uh, was, uh, you know, very lyrically dense. You know what I'm saying? And last time he was in here, he was talking about kind of letting go that like you know i need the craziest bar in the song mentality and going for more of a just kind of yeah less like his, his right, stuff's lyrically or dense 58 uh 56 yeah we oh no we're out that's of here. the end of the show thank you so much again for Yo, sitting down with us follow him at resi noble resi sundogs present local vibes